Hey there, I'm Sadie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this super cool blur tool on Procreate. It's a super quick and easy tutorial that you can use to create a color based on two different colors. So let's go. Alright, so I am opening up Procreate and I'm creating a new canvas. I'm just going to be using the regular screen size because I think that works pretty well. So I'm going to um, be trying to have two different emojis and combine them together to make a neutral color. So to do this, I want to first get up an emoji and I'm going to do that through adding text. So I'm going to the emoji button and then I'm going to try and find one that has a decent amount of color to it. And I'm first going to just do one. So I'm going to use this flower, like this um, bouquet of flowers because it has like pinks, yellows, greens in it. So that's pretty good. But now as you can tell underneath the layers tab, it has an A next to it, which means that it's still a text layer and we want that to disappear. So in order to do that, we need to go up to the arrow and then click on like the warp and then move it a little bit until it says uh, text layers raster sized. So now that A disappears, that means that you can now use like a blur tool over it or a brush pen. When it has the A on it, it's still a text layer and you can't do that. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my second emoji because we want to combine two and I'm also going to find another one that has some color to it. You can obviously do this with just regular colors in a drawing. I'm just doing this to show you how to do with emojis because people ask for that. So I'm going to move this one a little bit away and it's going to be another layer. Again, we'll do the same thing by dragging it out a little bit to make sure that that A goes away and then the layer is raster sized so you can actually use the brush pen on it. And that's a really important key component of doing this. So now I'm clicking on that pen button next to the eraser and we are going to be using that to blur them. So obviously I'm going back and forth and that's creating a really cool effect because it's taking all of the colors from that emoji and combining it together and then as you just keep going back and forth it will end up basically blurring and making a um, key color. So you can guess here that it's probably going to be a lighter pink and I'm just going to keep going until I get a solid color that I want. And I am almost basically done with that one. So now once I finish doing blurring a wine emoji, I'll go on to the next one. So this next emoji um, definitely has a lot more colors to it. Or I mean, I guess they're a little bit different. I have some pinks, purples, and blues that I really want to be dominant. So to do that, I'm just kind of touching upon on those parts of the emoji or the photo and I'm kind of dragging those over and combining it all together again to create that whole um, color that we're blurring. And I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna guess that this is probably going to be a light purple. So now that I have my two colors, they're obviously kind of water color type, so we have some different colors within them and it's not just one solid color. So I'm going to take the color job tool by holding down my finger and I'm gonna go over the pink one with the flowers and I'm now going to have to figure out how to save that. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the palette tool, click plus, create new palette, and then I'm gonna click my color in there to save it. So now I'm going to do that exact same thing with the second emoji. I'm gonna hold down my finger using the color drop tool to find the color that I want. It's not a multi-color drop, it's only one color, so you can only find one dominant color. And then obviously I'm going to save that into my palette. So now I'm going to my brush pan and I'm going to use this untitled brush that I made. You can use whatever brush you want to do this. And we're just going to take the first pink and we're going to make it into a square. And then we'll take that pink and that purple and combine those together now that those are two solid colors. So you can kind of make these whatever size that you think is um, is essential for the drawing that you're doing. For me, I am just going to try and make them the same size 
So it's an equivalent amount of each color uh, becoming the actual color that I'm blurring together. So for this purple, I'm just gonna resize it a little bit and move it over to make sure that there's equal uh, pink and purple being portrayed into the color that I am going to blur together now. So I'm going back to my blur pen and I'm gonna go back and forth like I've shown you to do before, like we did on the other two emojis. And now we're going to figure out whatever color is going to come from this pink and purple mixture. This process really should not be that difficult of just moving it around. If you do want to make sure that your background color doesn't get in the way of your drawing, you can take your background color of white off. Uh, but right now, I'm going to show you the color that I've made. So here is the final reveal. And that is the pinkish color that we made. And honestly, I think this whole blur technique is really cool. It's just like hand drawing when you're having painting and you're mixing two colors together, but it's able to do that through digital art, which I think is really cool and interesting. So I hope this tutorial did help you out and make sure to stick around for more. Thanks for watching.